Okay, here we got question number 18. The last question on the test paper, and because the last question is going to be one of the harder ones, and sometimes uh, we're given a lot of information at the top here, which is already drawn on the diagram. So I'm just going to scroll the page down a little bit so that it's easier. I've got more space to work with. Okay, now some of these last questions, because sometimes it's quite tricky to know what you're doing, but uh, this question is quite nicely broken up so that you can see it's to do with triangles. You've got a right angle triangle at the top and you've got a triangle that hasn't got a right angle in the bottom. And we're trying to work out the area of the quadrilateral. So if we can work out the area of triangle, we'll call this triangle A, and we can work out the area of this triangle B, and add the two together, we get the total area of the quadrilateral. Now with the right angle triangle, to work out the area, if I could find out what this side is, then I could just do call this the base and this the height and multiply the two together and halve it to get the area of A. Um, to find this length though, I'm probably going to need to work out this length here, which is the, the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. And I'll come back to that in a minute because this bottom triangle is quite easy to work out the area because we have a nice formula which is written at the front of your formula book that tells you that the area of a triangle, any triangle, if you have the angle, an angle of the triangle, and the sides either side of that angle, then you can use work out the area by doing a half times A times B times the sine of the angle C. Now in this question, this would be the angle C, even though it's labeled B, don't worry about that. This is the side this could be side A and this could be side B, doesn't matter which way around, so long as they're either side of the angle C. So if we work those out, we have um, a half times A, which is 7 in this case, and B, which is 8, times the sine of the angle C, which is 80. Now, this is a calculator paper, so that could be just typed into your calculator and you get an answer that would be around about 27.57461708 or thereabouts. Now that gives us B, the area of this triangle. Now we need to figure out how do we get the area of this triangle. So I'm going to have to work out this hypotenuse and then use Pythagoras to work out this length. So to work out this length from this triangle, I can use the cosine rule. Now, how do I know to use the cosine rule? Well, that comes with experience. But you have a right, you have a triangle that has not got a right angle in it. You've got two sides um, that are given, one side that's unknown, and an angle that's given. So we can use a formula that's also written in front of your book, which is a squared equals b squared plus c squared which looks like Pythagoras' theorem, but it goes the extra bit, minus 2bc cos the angle A. And now again, these ABs and Cs can be labelled up any way you want, so long as the little a's, which are the lengths, go opposite the angles. Now we have called this angle C to work out this formula, but for this formula I'm just going to change this to angle a, because the side I want to work out is the little a, which is opposite the angle A. So this hypotenuse of that triangle, which is the, the length AC, I'm going to call little a. I'm going to keep B the same, and I'm just going to change this letter to C. These two sides don't matter which way around they are. So, put those numbers into here, we get B squared, which is 8 squared, C squared, 7 squared minus 2 times 7 times 8 times the cos of 80 and again if I type that into the calculator I'll get a squared is equal to 93.5514041 now 
probably you're probably thinking I should eight I should square root a squared to find a. Now I could do that, but as I'm going to do Pythagoras' theorem, and, and that, there's no need to do that because I'm going to have to square it again to use Pythagoras' theorem. And in Pythagoras' theorem, the hypotenuse square, the square formed on a hypotenuse, is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. So that a squared is actually going to turn into c squared on the Pythagoras' theorem formula, which is a c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So in, in using that, I have the c squared, which is this number I've got here, 93.5514041 equals a squared plus b squared. Now for that, I want to call this a and this b. So that I get a squared plus 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. I need to take it away from this side and then find the square root to get a. To get a. So the a for this, if I type all that into a calculator, I'll get um, 7.5 8626417 and then I can use that to find the area of this triangle by doing that answer we we'll call it 7.5926 times by the 6 times by a half and then I'm going to add that oops I'm going to add that area which is about uh, 27.7 no sorry 22.758 something you can work that on your calculator add that this area which is the area of A to this area which is the area of B and I get those two added together I'm going to get a total area of 50.333 and something else so 50.3 centimeters squared now it's a very tricky question lots of A's and B's and C's getting all mixed up but uh, that's the way you do it.